I've seen many people saying that the new talent system is difficult to understand. So this example explains why the new talent is not difficult. I will try to equip a talent for each role and how to equip same talent for many hero at once. Let's start with tank hero. You tap here to choose. Let's start with Franco. First is the attribute type. Each role have it and you can change it. Since Franco has HP origin from passive, I wanted to use support attribute. This will give Franco a little increase in HP origin. The first talent is mainly bonus attributes. The one with thumbs up are the recommended talents. But we will make our own combinations so I will choose movement speed and attack along with his passive Franco will be walking faster than anyone else. Second talent is like passive skill. It adds something for you to be more effective in battles and for Franco as roamer, I want more movement speed. So I choose Wilderness Blessing which gives you movement speed bonus. And the last talent is a core talent which will be a very useful skill for the role and my unique combination for Franco will be with Temporal Rain. It will allow me to do a double hook combo. Hook, ultimate then hook again. Save the talent and that's it. You are ready for battle. So this What's Franco up, will have a lot of movement speed bonus. And skill cooldown reduction when using ultimate. Never runs. Time to teach you guys a lesson. Yeah. That's a double hook combo when using Rabbit temporal rain talent. Cubs. So next is fighter roll. I will go for Yu Zong and make a custom talent that I can give to other heroes. Like I said earlier, you can change the attribute type for each role. You can go fighter or assassin with Yu Zong. I will stick to fighter attribute because it has spell vamp bonus. Then just do the same thing as I did earlier. And for Yu Zong, I want more damage. Yu Zong have a dash skill and I want to add more damage. So Deadly Dart might come in handy. But you can always pick the recommended if you are lazy enough to choose. I will use the Glorious Dominion for HP Origin if I slow or deal crowd control on enemy. So this talent combination have damage, increased damage for each dash and HP region if you deal slow and crowd control. Increased damage when he uses dash. And using first skill plus third skill combo, your first skill will hit harder than normal. What doesn't kill me makes me even stronger. Since the talent combination for Yu Zong can be used for other heroes. This is for batch equip so that you don't have to manually make for each hero. So pick that hero you think is perfect for this talent.
And now as you can see, there is a number 5 on that batch of quip. That means, that this talent combination is being used by 5 heroes, including Yu Zong. You don't need to actually make one for each hero if you are lazy, but the new talent will give you a lot of advantage if you make a perfect combination. So how about we continue to make one for Assassin that will go to jungle. So I picked Saber, and I will need a talent for Jungler. I guess sticking to Assassin Attribute is good enough. And for the first Attribute talent, we want Damage. Second talent will have a lot of options, but we need the one for Objectives. Deadly Dark can increase Ultimate Damage, but if you are a Jungler, then Seasoned Hunter is better. And third core talent will be Killing Spree for HP Region. And you have a decent jungle talent that can be put for other heroes too. Never forgets. The heart of a warrior never forgets. You have slain an enemy. Then HP region for each kill you get. Too slow. And for marksmen, not every one of them using critical. But for a good example, let's go with the most used. And that will be Mia. Roll attribute for marksmen have 2.5% increase in adaptive attack, giving them a little more boost in damage. There are many options for marksmen and I will go critical chance and damage. Second talent is hard to choose but since the meta is tank. Going for giant slayer is the best bet. You get increase in damage against tanky heroes. Third core talent is battle frenzy for bonus life steal and damage. So this is a critical life steal and damage talent for attack speed marksman. Damage will increase even more against tanky heroes with Malefic Roar. You can't run from my arrow. Unstoppable! Now that we're done with Marksman, next will be Mage. I picked Xavier and planning to do a 50% cooldown reduction combo. For roll attribute, sticking to mage attribute is much better. Five percent cooldown reduction and adaptive penetration. Chrono Master so we can do 50% cooldown reduction. And third core talent will be Cosmic Blitz so that his ultimate have extra damage. There are many types of mage so making custom talent combination is better. His ultimate during purple state have 12 seconds cooldown. Along with fleeting time, 
you can pretty much spam the ultimate. Combust. Light shows no mercy. Combust. And finally, the last roll. We will go Rafaela for support. And for Rafaela, I also plan on going 50% cooldown reduction. The new talent system will make Rafaela a meta pick for support troll. This time we will go extra cooldown and HP. Then another Chrono Master talent. For the third talent, Deathly Alliance isn't working so I will pick Immortal Fury. You have 50% cooldown reduction and 6% increase for HP. Making Raphael a bit tanky that can heal you every 4.3 seconds. Healing prayers for you. Healing for everyone. Healing prayers for you. Do not gaze into the darkness. It stains your soul. Healing prayers for you. In the name of the light. Healing for everyone. The light is the only thing you cannot shatter. Healing for everyone. We are the light bringers. May the light forever shine upon the land of dawn. First blood. Healing for everyone. The new talent the system counts. might look confusing, but it's 100% more prayers. better than the current one. And it's kind of fun having a different set Healing of combinations. So what do you think of the new talent system? It's coming soon. Next season will be the best. Thank you for watching.